A deadly helicopter crash in California, and basketball legend Kobe Bryant was one of the people killed. The individuals that saw the aircraft said it was coming down at a, at a fairly significant rate of speed. And Kobe and his 13-year-old daughter are confirmed to be among those that were killed in this horrible crash. Bryant was 41 years old. The NTSB says the crash happened on a hillside in Calabasas that's in Southern California, about 30 miles west of Los Angeles. Why the helicopter crash, though, is still a mystery, but an investigation is underway right now. Our partners at KABC in Los Angeles say Kobe and his daughter were on their way to a travel basketball game, as well as another player and a parent who have not yet been identified. The L.A. County Sheriff giving an update just moments ago about how many people were on board, but not confirming any identities. We have a manifest that indicates that there was nine people on board the aircraft, the pilot plus eight individuals. Uh, there is uh, wide speculation of who the identities are. However, it is entirely inappropriate right now to identify anyone by name until the coroner has made the identification through their very deliberative profits and they've made, made notifications to next of kin. The mayor, however, of Los Angeles releasing a statement on Twitter calling Kobe a giant who inspired, amazed, and thrilled people everywhere. He went on to say that Kobe will live forever in the heart of Los Angeles and will be remembered through the ages as one of our greatest heroes. The news of the crash sending shockwaves all across the basketball world. Local 10 Sports Director Will Manso is live in Hollywood with more on the legacy of Kobe Bryant. Will, this is such a tragedy. Alex and Andrew, this is something that sent shockwaves throughout the NBA as we prepare here tonight for our Super Bowl special, the Super Bowl here in South Florida, Miami. That is supposed to be the storyline of the sports world. Now, though, the death of Kobe Bryant certainly is. You're talking about one of the greatest players in the history of the NBA. The torch pass from Michael Jordan to Kobe Bryant to then LeBron James. Kobe, an 18-time All-Star, 15-time All-NBA player an MVP, a five-time champ. I could spend the entire half hour giving you his accomplishments on the court, his accomplishments go off the court, a proud father, a philanthropist, and someone who impacted the game and on and off the court so much. And just last night, Bryant was in the news because LeBron James surpassed Bryant on the all-time scoring list, moving into third place. Bryant tweeted about LeBron, the respect, the mutual admiration they have for each other. LeBron, after the game, had this to say about Bryant. I'm happy just to be in a, any conversation with Kobe Bean Bryant, one of the all-time greatest basketball players to ever play, one of the all-time greatest Lakers. The man got two jerseys hanging up in Staples Center. It's just, it's just crazy. And you heard what LeBron said there, the two jerseys, the 8 and 24 retired by the Lakers. Here's what Dwayne Wade tweeted a short time after the news broke of Bryant's death. No God, please. No, and as for the Miami Heat, they tweeted out, our hearts are heavy with extreme sadness at this time. We extend our deepest prayers, thoughts, and condolences to the family of Kobe Bryant and those affected in today's tragedy. And as Alex and Andrew so reported suddenly. off the top of the news, and there are reports so his daughter Gianna, 13-year-old daughter, one of four daughters that Bryant and his wife Vanessa had, was also on that plane. And this was a video that went viral just within the last month or so of Kobe and Gianna, who is an aspiring young basketball player, very talented young player. And Kobe passing his wisdom courtside to his daughter. It's a video that had millions of views and just showed the type of impact he had for his daughter, the love affair they had with the game of basketball as one of the greats. And when it came down to it, it's just a dad who loved the game and was teaching his young daughter about the game. So again, this is a shocking story. Reaction coming off from all over the NBA. The NBA tweeting a short time ago, sending their condolences to the Bryant family. Much more to come on this story. But again, Kobe Bryant dead at the age of 41. That is the story from Hollywood Tonight. I'm Will Manso, Local 10 News. This story is just so heartbreaking, Will. Thank you. Meanwhile, our team coverage moves now to reaction from South Florida sports fans. Local 10 News reporter Parker Brand is live outside the American Airlines Arena with that story. Parker. And Andrew, Kobe Bryant playing many of his 20-year career, those games here at American Airlines Arena. Fans in South Florida and across the world are mourning the loss of Kobe. We spoke with them and they're telling us they're not only remembering Kobe for his on the court talent and efforts, but off the court as well, his many works and communities across the U.S. Some of those fans we spoke with getting a chance to see him play in person. Here's what they had to say about hearing this tragic news today. I was like really shocked. 
This guy is an icon, he's a legend, an NBA superstar. He will be remembered quite well, um, obviously for his talents on the court. I mean, something like a helicopter crash is not a normal thing, so it's probably a shock to everybody. There. He's a legend, legend always will be. And again, Kobe Bryant dead at the age of 41. Many saying his legacy will live on forever. We're live in Miami, Parker Branton, Local 10 News.